And last but by no means least, I'd like to introduce uh, Kamlish um, Vikamsi. Kamlish is the senior partner of a chartered accountant firm in India. Welcome, Kamlish. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Of course, the stage has been set for discussion on SMP, and the topic is very apt, Accountants for Growth, Internationalization through SMPs. I would just briefly introduce myself, apart from being partner of an SMP firm in Bombay, India. I am past president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. I am also past president of Confederation of Asian and Pacific Accountants, which is a regional body covering Asia Pacific. I am also a past board member of International Federation of Accountants, IFAC. I also served on the SMP committee of IFAC. So with this brief introduction, I'll make my presentation. Now, Daniel very rightly raised certain you know, challenges before the SMPs in rendering service to SMEs. And let me respond to what he has raised. He mentioned the changing needs of SMEs. No longer the SMEs are restricted to their own geographies but they are now looking out to invest outside their own countries. As an SMP, our response should be, let's change from the traditional assurance services we are providing to providing value-added service, advisory service. As an SMP, we need to enhance our knowledge base because once we cross the geographies of our countries, we need to have centralized database of knowledge. We need to do internal research. And most important for an SMP is to build, to connect with networks, both domestically, India being a large country, we need to have domestic networks as well as networks outside the country, because this helps in serving a SME client through the networks which we have. He also mentioned about changing demography of business owners. Technology is a game changer. As an SMP, we must embrace newer technologies. We are now talking of cloud computing, mobile computing. How can we harness the benefits, the advantages of technology for communication, for service delivery, and for better serving the clients. And as we are all aware, technology does reduce the cost. And therefore, today, an SMP can render service not only within his own geography, within his own city, within his own country, but even internationally. He mentioned about competition, changing competition. Certainly, competition is part of life. I mean, one can't, in any walk of life, competition is. How does one address competition? And I personally believe the only way to address competition is to give quality service. Because the moment you give quality service, a client is prepared to pay no matter you know, whatever you charge. So that's the only way in which you can beat competition by providing good service. As an SMP, you have an advantage. The advantage is you can give personal service. You can be in touch with the small and medium enterprise. I mean, that's what they care for. So whenever a need arises for the SME, you're always available, and you can speak to them and resolve their issues. He also mentioned about changing SMP workforce, truly a very big challenge for the SMPs. As an SMP, we need to gear up with our HR policies in our own offices. We need to put in place retention strategies. We need 
need to give clear career paths to people joining us. I mean, that is the only way you can retain talent and can grow your practice. Of course, I have observed that firms like us, who are SMPs, are a good training ground for the big four. Because the moment a person gets trained, if you don't have retention policies in place, if you don't have career paths in place, the person would look for change. Now let me share some, in a couple of slides, something about India to, whom I, to which I belong. Let me share what my institute, the Institute of Chartered Accounts of India is doing for the SMPs. And let me also share what my regional body, the South Asian Federation of Accountants, is doing for the SMPs. Let me start with the government. We had an election to the lower house of parliament in the month of May this year. And we've elected for the first time after 30 years a government, a party, which has a full majority. In the last 30 years, we've been working on coalitions, but this is the first time a clear mandate has been given to one particular party. Our leader, the Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, is a very strong and able administrator. And the sentiments across are very high that the country will again get back to the growth levels which we witnessed uh, five to 10 years back. The government is talking about make in India. Our prime minister has invited not only the domestic companies, but even foreign companies that please come make in India. So we want to make India as a manufacturing hub. The government is talking of 100 smart cities. Now these smart cities will have smart energy, smart environment, smart transportation, smart IT and communication infrastructure. Now with this infrastructure, 100 smart cities, I'm sure the small and medium enterprises would flourish given the infrastructure. The government is talking of set, setting apart Indian rupees 100 billion, which is equal to 1.6 billion US dollars for startups and entrepreneurs. So this is the kind of thrust which the government of India is giving to the small and medium enterprises. Coming to the Institute of Chartered Accounts of India, we have amongst the audience Mr. Raghu, who is the president of the institute. And the institute has been doing a lot in terms of promoting the small and medium practices. It has set up a committee for capacity building of CA firms and small and medium practices to encourage networking, to promote corporate form of practice, multidisciplinary practice, to develop IT-enabled services, which will then be distributed to the members, to release technical notes and reference material on the issues of professional interest. The South Asian Federation of Accountants, which is the SARC countries, the neighboring countries to the Indian continent, is a regional body which is doing a lot of work. They have signed an MOU with European Federation of Accountants and Auditors to exchange initiatives for capacity building of SMPs. They are doing a lot of work on annual surveys for the needs of SMP and what this SAFA can do for the members. Coming to SMP opportunities, small and medium enterprises do need handholding and support for all regulatory compliances. And regulation across the world, even in parts in India, are getting more and more complicated. And it is very important that there is a small and medium practices which would take care of the SMEs compliances needs, regulatory compliances needs. The SMP can understand businesses and provide good consultation. It can support outbound investments. 
for small and in medium enterprises within the country, that is in India, outside India. It can plan structure of business, how to make outbound investments, through what vehicle, what should be the holding subsidiary company, or whether you should set up a branch, etc. The SMP can also set up systems, ERPs, SOPs, and processes for the SMEs. Outsourcing payroll and virtual CFO, these are the services which an SMP can provide to the businesses. And it can also support for corporate finance and potential public offering. Now, these are very two very important uh, services which can be rendered by an SMP. Just two slides. As far as my office experience is concerned, on SMEs is concerned, we do a lot of advisory business, setup of initial compliances for foreign companies coming to India. We support international expansion of SMEs via our international network firm. We also support SMEs on inbound and outbound investments, like due diligence, valuation, support for drafting agreements, etc. And we do a lot of proactive support and handholding for all regulatory compliances. And the last slide is SMP, time to gear up, build a strong team. People are the most important assets as far as an SMP is concerned. Build knowledge database and have a good infrastructure. Now, these are three absolutely important things which SMP must gear up. Harness technology for your benefit. Networking is again important because as the clients are growing, it's important that the SMP also grows. And what you should be careful about quality controls and quality standards on internal quality standards, HR policies, training, succession planning, independence. Now, these are very important points which you must note as an SMP. Thank you very much for a patient hearing. Thank you.